Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Friday of the fifth week of Easter. Let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans the 14th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. Let us therefore no longer pass judgment on one another, but resolve instead never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of another. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. If your brother or sister is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin of one for whom Christ died. So do not let your good be spoken of as evil. The kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The one who thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and has human approval. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Do not, for the sake of food, destroy the work of God. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for you to make others fail by what you eat. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that makes your brother or sister stumble. The faith that you have, have as your own conviction before God. Blessed are those who have no reason to condemn themselves because of what they approve. But those who have doubts are condemned if they eat, because they do not act from faith. For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. Here ends the lesson. The first verse in the lesson for today is actually the completion of the thoughts in the lesson from yesterday. We are to refrain from judging others. Judgment is the responsibility of Jesus Christ and no other. The focus of the Christian is to take personal accountability and focus on our own behavior, striving to amend and correct where we are in error or turning away from the love and ways of God. Christians are not to be a stumbling block to others. Paul admonishes the Christians in Rome to consider what effect their behavior may have on others. This is very countercultural to an I-me worldview. As Christians, we are to love our neighbors as ourselves, which is only possible when we see others as Christ sees them. Before moving to the Diocese of Albany, I studied on Saturday mornings with a Jewish community in the Milwaukee area, where I had the privilege of sitting in on a discussion about eating what appeared to be a cheeseburger. The sandwich was actually a vegetarian patty, so it did not violate kosher food laws that forbid eating dairy and meat together. However, the discussion turned out to be well worth having. The dialogue revolved around the influence of eating that sandwich in public and the example it set for those who knew they were Jewish but were unaware that they were not breaking kosher. They did not want to be a stumbling block to their Jewish brothers and sisters and so decided that it would be best not to have the food in a public venue. Paul is telling us that we should have the same consideration for our Christian brothers and sisters when the example we set might be a stumbling block to them. I know some who have no problem having an alcoholic drink. Still, when they are with people who are in recovery, they abstain from having an alcoholic drink because they don't want their behavior to have a negative consequence 
on someone who struggles with addiction. Regardless of what we do in our lives, it is important to take into consideration how the witness of our choices will affect the faith of others. In the boundaries class that we offer at St. George's, we teach that we are responsible to other people, but we are not responsible for them. A challenge to knowing what to do or not do is discerning the difference between being a legitimate stumbling block to another and being inappropriately controlled by the expectations of another to conform to their self-imposed expectations of others. We must make every effort not to be a stumbling block in the lives of others, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit, helping the light and love of Christ be known in our day and in our time. Let us pray. Oh God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Mm -hmm.